All right, what's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hexshot. Thank you for joining me today as I'm going to show you one of the most baddest capable belts that Core Essentials has come out to, uh, to date anyways, uh, in the carry world. And this is truly a battle belt. So this is something range days, uh, something, you know, if you're doing maybe a, a training class where you're carrying a lot of gear, um, maybe even a police officer in the line of duty, whatever, whatever, this is a true battle belt that can hold over 20 pounds of gear. Uh, this thing's pretty incredible. So I'll show you the ins and outs, how it works, how to size it, all of that. And then I'll kind of tell you where I see this thing fitting. Now, if you're looking for everyday carry belts, this is not it. All right. This is, this has a very specific purpose. Um, and it's built for that. Of course, their carry belts, their EDC belts, I've been using for a long time, man. And I swear by them, everybody that I've come in contact with either has used one or wants to have one because of some of the unique features. And they were able to retain one very important feature that makes Core Essentials just amazing, even on this belt. So We'll talk about all that. Big thanks to those guys for sending this out so I can show it off to y'all. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link and discount code so you can uh, get one for yourself and save a little bit of money at the same time. So let's talk about what this is, what it comes with. It's going to come with a little tape measure. It's going to come with a belt keeper. It's going to come with a little Allen wrench so you can adjust it. Of course, it comes with the buckle and it is a two belt system. So essentially what we have here is the inner belt. All right, so this is the inner hex belt and it's wrapped with Velcro all the way around. This is going to support the outer belt. The outer belt will literally stick to the Velcro on this. So this is gonna run through the belt loops on your pants. And the way you size this is pretty easy. They give you the tape measure. You take the tape measure, you measure the outer belt first. Whatever the true size to your pants is, you're gonna cut to that. So I'm a 36, I cut at 36. Then you're gonna measure this one, all right? Hold it all the way down to the end. You're gonna go one inch shorter on this one than what you do your true size or your outer belt. This goes from 24 to 48 inches. It covers a wide range of men who need a belt like this, right? So pretty simple there. You cut, you do a little singe job. You make sure that you put your little metal clip on this one. You can kinda of, you know, tighten that down so it's gonna be easier to run through your pants and all that good stuff. Pretty simple. Your buckle itself, it actually has uh, jaws with teeth. So once you push this all the way in, you're gonna clamp this down and then you're gonna put your set screws. You're actually gonna run those down into the belt as well. That's gonna keep the buckle itself uh, firmly in place. And I'll come back to the buckle here in a second. The inner belt does two things. Obviously it attaches to your gun belt, but it also has this hex piece right here that allows you to tighten and loosen the outer belt as needed without having to make really any adjustments. This is the only kind of adjustment and flex that you're going to get so you don't have to move anything. You can set it and pretty much forget it and just move your outer buckle the way it was intended, just like the EDC belts. So this will flex just a little bit and allows you to do all that. And it's super strong, but it's flexible. So they got a pretty good system right there. So we run this through the loops of our pants and then this is actually going to run around it. Now, obviously I don't have it lined up. We want this in the middle of, of our pants, normally where, where a buckle would actually be. And then this is going to ride right over the top of it. So you would think having to Velcro this outer belt to the inner belt would be kind of a pain and it would take a while. It really doesn't. So if you want to get this lined up perfectly and the buckle right there in the middle without having to do a bunch of adjustments, you kind of just put this offset back towards your first loop, depending on where that is. Kind of back there, buckle, boom. Your little bell keeper, it's already attached, just like that. You line it up, you center this up where you normally would, and that's pretty much it. And then here's your little hex piece. So as you do your adjustments throughout the day or after meal or whatever, you can see that hex just gives you enough room to just flex as needed. You can see right there, right? So you have the same type of release system and the same type of track system. While this is staying stationary, the outer belt can be adjusted. So there's two big things here, man, with core essentials that makes them stand out. And a, and a good gun belt is necessary if you're gonna carry every single day um, or if you're gonna do range days in this case specifically or uh, drills or anything like that, 
you got to have something that's going to keep the weight of your gun, your trauma kit, your, your dump bags, your AR mags, your whatever. You have to have something to keep that weight up. Otherwise, if you just use a traditional leather belt, all of that weight is going to cause the belt to sag. It's going to cause your pants to sag, and that's not something that you want. So the big thing they use in the center of all of their gun belts, including this one, is a reinforced core. And that basically keeps this, it keeps the outside flexible, right? They have this inner fiber and all of the stuff. I, I'm not gonna pretend to tell you how I know how they make this thing, but you can see the little fibers. It's reinforced in here, double stitched, and the core itself is not going to flex on you. This one is a 1.75 inch outer belt and a one and a half inch inner belt. And so this thing is, I mean, like I said, over 20 pounds, is what this is what you can physically carry on this belt. So that reinforced core is a huge part of this. The other part of this that makes this the best belt that I've ever worn is the adjustable track. So you have in quarter inch increments, you have 20 different adjustments. So I'm gonna show you what this is kind of backwards like this so you get an idea of, of how this works. So you have a latch system right here and with every click, you can make those adjustments. So the days of, you know, having six or seven holes and you gotta make your own holes and you can never get the adjustments right. I haven't worn one of those belts in like six years, seven years, since I started working with Core Essentials, I threw all those old belts away because they're just, they're junk. Even if I'm not carrying a gun, they're still junk and I wear an everyday carry belt because it's just comfortable and this track system is where it's at. You have a lever right here, so you just simply pull this lever away from you with your thumb and you can move this to one of those increments. If you need to loosen up, if you need to tighten it up, whatever the case may be, you simply pull it or release the latch just like that. And you can do it in increments or, you know, eventually you get to the point where you just want to take it all the way off. You just hold it and pull it out. That is the big difference here, man. That adjustability and the inner core. Now this one has some special features too. You have two rows of molly on the outside, so if you want to attach stuff to that, you absolutely can do that. This one actually comes with a belt keeper too, and what's nice is this has a little piece of Velcro on it as well, so you can literally just stick this on here and essentially forget about it just like that. And this slides over, Velcro it just like that, so that's going to keep that nicely tucked up against your body. So. Most of their everyday carry belts, they can hold anywhere from like four up to 10 pounds, I believe, with the tactical belts. Again, if you need something super heavy duty, if you're carrying a lot of gear, this might be a good option for you. A lot of great features. The only thing you may wanna consider is that you have the 1.75 inch clips to go along with something like this. So I even tried, um, I got this uh, new holster from Jack's Tactical, I'm trying it out. And I even tried it with the soft loops and it's just, there's not enough room there to actually get those to snap down in place. So that's just something that you wanna consider. Depending on what you're carrying though, outside the waistband, I actually tried it with one of the contour holsters from Tolster and it, it does work. It's a little bit tight once you get to the Molly right there, but you can slide it on. And it's obviously a little bit easier once you have the belt on, but it actually does just slide right on, just like that. And draw, no problem at ever, no sag whatsoever. This is a seriously heavy duty belt from Core Essentials and I'm digging it. And like I said, this is absolutely is not something I would wear every single day, but when I go to the range and I wanna carry extra stuff on me, if I ever do training, which I absolutely need to do, this would be the belt that I would wear. Super adjustable, they retain that. That is the most important part of this belt because you can adjust it quickly and don't have to worry about any of it. And it's still able to hold up all that weight. Super impressive, man. So again, I'll leave a link down below so you can check these out and a discount code if this is something that you're interested in. Make sure you check them out down below. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.